Hello, John again, and welcome to episode 33. I will get to 35, I will. And in this episode, we are going to add the ability for the user to choose their difficulty. So we've we optimized the difficulty and the leveling in the previous episode. And now we're going to give the user the option to um, choose their difficulty. So if they want to do easy, they'll do easy. If they want to do hard, they can do hard. Or if they want to do normal, they can do normal. So the question really is, um, how do we do it? Do we just let them press a button or select it or or what? Yeah. We're going to do the, the press a key and then if we if we got time we'll we can fancy it up later. So here we go. So I've done a few changes since because we had a couple of issues and I I went and uh, went in and sorted them out. You know, like the the music was causing the um the, the music was causing the, the title screen to go a bit funny and and it was all sorts of rubbish going on. Well, I've sorted that out. Excuse me, just plugging in the cable. And so I can show you exactly what, what was going on. Now to, to show you, I've got, you've got to understand what I was trying to think because I was trying to think what could be affecting, because you remember it was coming down all garbled and I, what could be affected. So I thought, oh, the X and Y register could be affected because we're, when the interrupt's firing, it could be changing those. So I was pushing and pulling these things onto the stack and no, that wasn't it. So carried on a bit more in uh, investigation and what we'll do is I'll fire C64 debugger up so you can see right let's make this so you can see it full screen all right, now not loaded the game in yet, but we, our temporary variables was on this row here, the F8 to FF row in zero page. Now look what happens when I load the game in. Okay. So it's gone all the way over there and I don't want it to go all the way over there. Let's bring it back. There you go. Can you see? These variable these locations are being used by the SID player. And and of course we were using these variables as well. And that's why the um, lander ended up being corrupted. So let's press fire on this. Oh, hang on, different joystick, different joystick jump. Come on, get a grip. There we go. So we're gonna crash. There we go. And now, watch, I do not stop the music. There you go. All because of these here that something else was using it at the time. <sighs> right, why was my rockets not firing? Well that's firing. So why are my keys not firing? It's supposed to be on the same port. Control Y. Control Y. No. That is strange. I'm on the right port because it fires. Anyway. 
So that's what I did there, and that's solved that. Now, been doing a bit of tidying up. As you can see, there's a new new file turned up called Game Screens, and this is everything to do with the screen manipulation. So putting the titles on the screen, um, putting the uh, scrolling the screen down for the title screen, uh, putting all the text up. So I've created a couple of routines down here. Look. So this one is please select difficulty and I was actually in the middle of doing this and I thought oh, I better better record this or I'm gonna gonna get uh, gonna get lost. So here we go. So base let's put an RTS in there. In fact, let's put a jump at loop jump at loop. So let's just check the initialization. So so this is the screen. So game flow. Where are you? Here we go. So initialization. Here we go. So we're not going to title now. We are going. I've created a new game state called difficulty so I'm going to go to difficulty so let's run it and see what happens F5 Ooh. Well, I think I broke it. Game in this slice. Game in this slice. Initialize game. Ugh. <laughs> Dear. Oh, okay. Uh, JSR. Oh, well, we don't need that. Don't need that. Need that. Don't need that. There we go. Forgot to put this in. Right, let's do. Let's try this again. It's not even doing the title screen, nice. Why is that looping round? Right, let me put this back. So this is GF title. So GF title setup screen is here. So it's GF retry. So that's not GF retry. And it's definitely not that either. It's that. Oh dear. Here we go. Press fire. Now, this Why is that flashing? So I've told it to come here and then just do the loop. Oh. Yeah, dear. Plank. 
Right. It's going to work this time. Feel it. That's fine. Here we go. So it's not flashing now. So this is what I want to do. Um, maybe a bit too far over, so we might just pull it back a bit. So I don't know whether to have it do the keys. You know. Now that's why I put the E, N, and H in brackets. Um, yeah. Yeah, we could do. We could do. So there you go. I, they go E, N, and H, depending on what they want. So I need to bring it back because it's a bit lopsided. Right. So let's just bring it back, and then we'll concentrate on how we're going to do this. Right. So we're doing eight. So let me break it there. And break it there. And there as well. Oh, trust me. Down. Now they all look the same. Here we go. So we'll bring it back to do four. So that's going to bring it back to do four, and we'll do it there as well. In fact, I'll break it there, so I can see. There we go. So that will then pose the question. So in here, so we now need it to go back to where we called it from, which is in the game flow. Here. So it calls it, and then we're going to do um, uh, keyboard check. In fact, we'll do this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to check the 197. Now, I recently investi investigated the 197 um, because I have my own website, would you believe it? Here we go. Let's bring it down so you can see it. Welcome to my website. And, and as you can see, I've put a post up here about the 197. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the three characters of the 197. I've got a bit of paper here. And we're going to write them down. So let's go into it. So we're looking for we're looking for E, N, and H. Right, can you see, oh, there it is, E is 14. There we go, E is 14. Uh, and H, there's H, 29. 29, and N is 39. So, my website, just in case, is there. And it's a, it's basically I'm going to start filling it up and stuff like that. Um, I didn't want to do a video about it. If you want to check it out, please do. It's got quite a bit on it. There's a, all my, you know, um, me, my web, you know, hello and welcome to my website. About me, the tutorials. So I've done tutorials on the CVM tutorials, videos, unboxing videos, repair videos. Game, retro game dev, my C64 Pi project development. So I've got Neptune Lander in there, text scrolling, the Vic and 64 machine code monitor, 
Commodore Disk Integration Operating System, which is Kydos, and then Reviews and Links, and I've you know for Tommy Form. So enough of the shameless self promotion. So now we know the um, the codes for the thing. Now I do know that no key press is 64. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to load uh, 197. Compare it with 64. Branch if equal back to at GF keyboard. At come on. GF keyboard. It's not there. But it's there, I'm looking at it. <sighs> All right then. So, if if we compare it with um, 14, so this is easy mode, branch if not equal to GF uh, key, try normal. If it is equal, so we're gonna say LDX hash, uh, game difficulty easy, and then we're going to jump to GF difficulty selected. Right, so we've done easy. We now need to do medium. So at, no, uh, sorry, normal. Got to get it right. So we're going to compare normal is 38. 39, sorry. Branch if not equal to the same thing as before. This, this one is hard. Not that hard. LDX um, hash J GD normal. Same thing again. Jump out of that into game difficulty. And then we've got the last one, which is, have they picked hard? So, CMP, and hard is, ooh, come on, hard is that we're testing as well. Uh, branch if not equal to back to the keyboard scan. JF keyboard. It does not like that, does it? Does not like, why does it not see that? Why does it not see that variable? Weird. Anyway, so if it is, then LDX hash hard. So the game difficulty started. So just to confirm to the user they've picked it, I want to change the color of the line that's been selected. So, um, let's work out how many lines we've come down. So we've come down 10. So it's come down 10 to easy. 12 to normal, 
and 14 to hard. Okay. So that's down 10. So this is on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16 is the police select. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight that. So first things first is we are going to store X in game difficulty, I think. game difficulty store it away and then we're going to load the row of um, the the, um, the row it's not it's not the character row it's the color row because we, we're going to change the color row so ldy has zero and so let's get this sorted. So um, at GF key um, um, difficulty difficulty row. Not the and then we'll load A with, uh, so it's black. So we need something to contrast black. So if it's white, we are going to go with something that's going to be obvious that they've picked it, but not too garish. So green, we'll try green, load green. In fact, we can do that up here. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's um, store A in dollar D D eight zero zero comma Y I and Y. In fact. We'll do this thirty nine and then D E Y branch shift minus to at GF difficulty row So that should have picked it. That should have selected it. Now how do we because that's definitely not in the right place. So what do we do? So let's get that down here and then hook here. Oh, come on, John. We're transferring X into A. CLC add 10 and then transfer it back into X. And then what we're going to do is we're going to load A with uh, screen, screen, screen. It's not screen, is it? Is it lib screen? Yeah, it's lib screen, isn't it? So it's call that one there. Color RAM. So load color RAM low, comma X. Store it in at GF difficulty row. Why is it not showing that? row plus one and then we'll do it again two but this is high and then it'll pick the right row up and make it make it green so we'll just Right, we'll just put a quick loop in there so it stops it. Right, let's see if it works. So F5. So hopefully when we pick the any of them, that record should go green. And we've got an error. Okay. Try 
try again. Here we go. Press fire. Right, should we try E for easy? Hmm. Hmm. Keyboard's not being read. And I bet you that's to do with the the interrupt. Right, we'll put this back to three one. Because I don't think it was reading the keyboard. Right then, E. So we're loading 197. Right, let's store it in the top corner. So we can see if it's actually doing anything. If it's not equal, try for normal. If it's not, try hard. If it's not hard, then go back to keyboard check. That's right, that sounds like right. Right, so it is reading the keyboard, okay. E. N. Right, so it's, have we noticed the key's not changing now, I'm pressing N, so it did read. So we're not, fi we're not filling in the right record. We're not filling the right record. Okay, let's, um, let's make this obvious. So we're not doing color RAM. So we'll change it to screen RAM. Let's see which row we're filling in. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see where which row we're filling. We may be out. <laughs> Maybe just filling the wrong color wrong row. Okay. Here we go. Right, E. Okay, so he just filled one. It's on the right level though. Why did he just fill one? Have I got the branch wrong? Oh no. Branch of minus. <sighs> stupid, 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 stupid. Branch of plus. The only branch you're testing for my the negative. Arr! Stupid mistakes, stupid mistakes. Right, here we go. This is gonna do it, so we should wipe out the easy line. Here we go. Yes, right, gotcha. Right, so we're in the right ballpark. Right, so we'll change this back to color. I'm gonna spell it the American way. 
Right. So we store the we store the game difficulty away. Um, the initialization st stores it in there, so we're fine. So next level loads it and then runs with it. Okay, so we're all right. As long as we've stored it, we're fine. So the best next best thing is to have some sort of delay so the user can realize what they've picked. So we'll take some of these, like so. We won't have that many. We'll just take some of those. And we'll put them in there. Right, so let's see. Let's see if we can determine what level we're, we're going to be on. Uh, not level, difficulty. Right, remember the difficulties have different ships. Yeah, and different criteria. Oh, I've got to show you the new clever thing I put in. Here we go, right. What difficult? Oh, I left that thing in. Well, no, it's all right. So we press E for easy, and it's gone green. Hey, that's... Oh. <laughs> right. Where's that line? So we'll take that out, because we know that's working. But, right. We need that. Because we've got to tell it what's the next state. So the next state is difficulty. It's retry, isn't it? It's retry because we're setting up. That's it. All right then. Here we go. Remember, I've got to show you what I've done. Right, easy. Can you see over here the speed checker for easy is doubled so it's easier for to land as well let's watch oh I was, I was right on the edge right on the edge ah. easy right let's try that again See? Well, but I've 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 given I've, I've oops I've given the um, the user a bit more um, flexibility in the landings. You know, the landings a lot uh, easier as well, as well as the, the the speed you can hit the landing pad with. So we'll do it easy again. I'll try and show you what I mean by the easiness of the pads. Right, because what I've done is I've done it to the legs, so they can move over. See, landed it right on the edge, and it allowed it. So that's what easy does. So let's crash, and right, let's pick normal. So N. Ooh, okay, N doesn't work. H. Who? Oh, it did work. Cool, that's difficult. That's difficult. Let's try that again because it didn't. No. Right, okay. I've just remembered what I've forgotten. Yeah. 
we've got to multiply it so it's uh, um, ASL so we're timesing it by two because naught by times two is naught one times two is two because remember it's two lines so that was just height that was doing the line in between So normal. Hey! Just remember, different ship. A lot bit more difficult because oh, I haven't got as much fuel. But gravity is very. Oh, right on the edge that was. Right on the net. Right, let's try that again. Strong here. Oh, the thrust is rubbish on the other. Hey! Got it. Right. Crash that. And hard. Yeah, selected hard. And it's the traditional lander. Ooh. And my thrusters are the wrong way round. Thrusters are the wrong way round. On the hard level. So that's four and three. see with hard you back to the small area of landing even with no fuel God, hard is really hard hard is really really hard right okay we're oh, 40 minutes oh dear all right then so there we go so we've implemented now the user can choose what difficulty they want to do so the next sort of things that I was thinking about was game progression how we're going to how we're going to progress with the game. We've only got three levels. Um, I'm hoping that by this time this video comes out, people have started submitting levels to me and we can take it from there. Oh, let me, let me shut the game off. That's better. Not so, not, not so noisy. Right, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like button. If you don't like what I do, fine hit the dislike button always leave me a comment as I try to answer them all and if you like what I do and want to help this channel out become a patron of mine all the money raised in patron is used for this channel and with that I'll see you in the next video take care bye I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.